Hey, want me to shut up? If you're just looking for a walkthrough, you can watch the same video just without my commentary over here. Or if you want to listen to my dumbass, stick around. Hello! So I know last time I said we were going to do License to Reap, but I totally forgot that I was supposed to be doing class quests. Uh, I got tunnel vision. So we're doing, uh, we're doing another rogue quest today. Oh, I need to cross that out. Ooh. All right. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Jack appears, um, to give you your first assignment. Cutscene. Oi there, Charlie. I must say you're looking comfortable enough with those stabbers of yours. I, I reckon you're good and ready for your first assignment. I'm ready. Ordinarily, I'd stow my wits and let you get on with your work, but seeing as we only just dragged you into the shadows, there might be a couple of things what you ain't familiar with. Let's build on what you likely do know, and that's the fact that Emerald, God's breath, bless her soul, has outlawed piracy in Limsa Lominsa. So, why do you think there are so many sodden pirates in this town? I'll tell you why. Because there's still one way for them to loot and pillage without incurring the wrath of the law. All you need to do is apply to serve the Fathiocracy as a certified privateer. A captain with a privateer's license is free to terrorize the seas till the adults come home. So long as he only targets vessels that what belong to the Garlean Empire. Of course, considering how bloody vast the Empire is, that's plenty of looting to go around. Crews fill their holds with Imperial plunder and then sail back here to Limsa to offload the spoils. And that's where this particular case went sour. See, this crew got their fambles on a magic tech device. A firing mechanism to be precise. But it was rooked out of their hull by some heavy-handed coves. If you recall, that don't sit well with the code. If you're bold enough to rook a pirate out of his due, then you'd best be prepared from a, for a visit from the rogues. Oh. And, uh, and, uh, speaking of rogues, Underfoot, over here, lad! Uh, <gasps> Lollafell! I want the pair of you working together on this. Pass sentence on them code-defined rooks and bite back that magitech part. Eh? What's the last need me for? You're in charge of the new recruits, ain't ye? It's Charlie's first assignment. You're to go along and give her the benefit of your wisdom. Since when I was in- Since when was I in charge of new- God bugger it. Er, uh, so, I guess we'll be partners for now. My- The name's per, Parimu Harimu. Har- Har- Harimu? Harimu. But most of my fellows call me Underfoot. Ahem. <clears throat> He might seem a touch reluctant, but Paramu's one of our best. You just do as he says and he'll get the job done. I love when suddenly a Lollafell shows up in combat classes. <laughs> they don't seem like they fit at all. Or if they're so small, why is this small man stabbing people? Alright then, me Ahem, <clears throat> he's not Jack. All right then, me young rogue, seeing as this is your first official outing, I want to be sure your dance steps are up to the task. With them short blades, you need to get good and close to your mark, I. But we ain't bleeding swads and shining armor, and the light of the kit we wear ain't much protecting from a click to the gan. What? So if you don't fancy spitting blood and teeth, your best defense is simply not being there when your mark winds up to land a nasty clout. Sliding around to the flank usually does the trick, but there's some... Run, rum fun, every rogue should master. The shade shift. Clear your mind and trust your, in your speed and you can leave an axe wielding brute or a spell flinging mage cast in your shadow while you bury your stabbers in his guts. Right now, it's time to put this lesson into practice against some of those RLA out in Lower Lanosia. I hope you was paying attention, lass, because those tentacles can pack a wallop. Enjoy. What is he talking about? Is this just a fancy way of saying don't get hit? Probably just some of the the, the pomp that comes along along with the uh, the classes. Lower Lenosia. Oh, God! I, do I have to? Oh wait, no. There is a gate. 
thought I was gonna have to walk. All right, Tempest Gate, Lower Linosia. <sighs> kind of like how it was like, trust your eyes or whatever the hell it was with the um, archer quests. I can't, I can't, I don't have anything. I have to run with my feet. Uh, look, a gobu, time to bury my face in its ass. I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while. There they are! There's a fate happening here. I don't care. Greeting! This doesn't take very long. And I'm level six, nice. Very nice. Oh, that was my hunting log too. All right, talk to Parimu Harimu at the thing. I know it's not far, but I'm still gonna teleport because it's my video and I can do what I want. <laughs> of course, it now takes forever to load because everyone hangs out around in the eighth right all the time, every day. It's always a party at the Limsa Lamenta eighth right. Cube. That person's name is Nipples. <gasps> oh. Imagine, imagine having friends in this game and they and like going to the Discord with them and they're you're just forced to be called Nipples the entire time. Hello Nipples. <laughs> I don't like it. Well, I do like it. I have conflictions about this. It's funny, but also no. <laughs> Alright, hi, Perry Moo. Done with your practice then? <laughs> the sting of them technical boogers will soon teach you to stand to to toys. Toys. Toes. Holy shit. Toes. 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 Eh? <clears throat> now that we got your blood rushing, I'd say it's time to get down to work. First things first, we need to track down them adult coves what rooked that magitech gadget. Might be as one of our rogues has heard something. The guild thrives on information you see and we've got agents scattered far and wide with their glazes keen and waddles to the ground. Can these people talk normal? Pay a visit to little Ayatollah and the drown at the drowned wench. Ask her for a weak ale and see what that gets you. I'm not setting you up for a laugh, for a laugh, lass. Trust me. All right. I feel like if you ask for a weak owl in Limsa Lamenta, you get punched in the face. I'll be interested to see how this dialogue goes. Be like, are you serious? Do you actually want this weak owl? And be like, n n no, no, I'm, I'm, no, look at my knife. Look at my knife. Behold the knives. I can do things. I swear. I swear I'm not some chuckle fuck. But then again, like, what if someone actually, like, some sort of traveler asks for real for a weak owl and they're like, so you want the secret information? And then they're like, the, the what? The what? Help me. <gasps> oh. Hello. Oh, there's Pyramu. Order yourself a weak gal. It all makes sense in a bit. Welcome to the Drowning Wench. What is your pleasure, miss? A weak owl. Never in all my days. We may serve some cheap grog in the wench, but... Not that was watered down. If our usual owl is too bold for your taste, mayhaps you'd like to order from the underground menu? Aye, there's quite a lot on offer for a customer with your roguish charms. Was there something in particular I could help you with? I see. She's still talking in, in code. 
Aye, the trouble over the Magitech, Luke? T'was not a subtle job. The gang in question is an unusual group of former pirates calling themselves the Dainty Demolishers. They seem to be enamored of enamored of court dandy mannerisms and have a preference for seizing Garlean machinery. They're also known for conspiring with goblins. Rumors say that the Demolishers visit a beast man camp in Middle Lanosia to fence their goods. And those goods generally take the form of Imperial technology. I imagine that the goblins were rather pleased to take uh, possession of a Mark L-I-I-I anti-aircraft cannon firing mechanism. I'm sorry, I don't know Roman numerals by heart. If you mean to steal the device back, then your trail leads to the goblin camp in Summerford. Summerford, eh? On your way, lass, meet me across the river from the camp and we'll plan our next move. Alright, Summerford is Middle Lanosia, which is... Um, oh, you have to go down to go to that one, so we're just going to use the Aetherite. I'm trying to find some funny names, but they're all relatively, relatively normal. And no men burying themselves in... Uh, wait, Summerford is Middle Lanosia. Um, no men burying themselves in Gobu ass. Was he here? Was he in Middle Lanosia? I wonder if he's still there. If he's still doing it. Nope, he's not. He's not here. Tis a shame. We have lost our go Gobu ass man. I'm just looking for him. <laughs> What a weird thing to happen. Alright, hello, Paramu. Oh, he's he's hiding. Hiding in the bushes. Get your noggin down, Charlie. I've been sn sn snilching? Yeah, snilching the action across the way there. No sign of the demolishers, but I did see one of them gambler's cove stuffing the garlic and gadget into his backpack. I know e Etolan would steer us aright. This is your chance, lass. Clout that gambler, Gobby, and grab that device. And grab, grab all that device. Er, I've lost track of which Gob it was, but I'm thinking that it's that sod on the left. Just make sure you dance, dance away from any bomb blasts. Twisting and dodging in the middle of a fireball may not save you from getting your eyebrows singed off. Okay. Uh, we just have to kill goblin gamblers. Oh, and the fishers are on my hunting log. So, hey. What's up? I like he continues his conversation, too. Hi, you. Wait, was that the entirety? Oh, that was the entirety of the log, was just the one. That's funny. Did you have it? Yes. He did have it. What's sad is that these guys don't attack you. These are actually friendly goblins unless you start killing them. And you're just like, give me the thing, I'll kill you for it. And you're like, oh, okay. That's the way last. There was not for me to do but sit on me daddles and watch. So you got the goods then. <coughs> Sorry, I've got voice strain for recording for like two hours. Develop developed in the 43rd year of the first Garlean Emperor's reign, this device... Tr Devi trigger device works with all material mark XLI XLIII anti aircraft cannons. Ooh, cutscene. Aye, this is the device, and no mistaken. Let's get back it, back to the guild, eh? We still owe them demolisher bastards a millen, but they'll keep for the now. Here, since you. You should be the one to deliver the prize to Jack. It was your hand that snatched it out of the goblin's paws, after all. Wave. Was that really it? Oh shit, there's a man. There is a man! Captain! Captain, I say! Some fiend has perpetrated violence upon our goblin callings well as we sought to wet our throats with fine libations. This will not stand, Captain. Our finely filched loot has been pilfered from under our noses. 
Blast and bother, my blood boils at the temerity of this affront. I know not the identities of these audacious buffoons, but they shall be made to pay and pay dearly with me, my fine fellows. Huzzah! I don't know. There he goes. Alright. And now we return. It is my video and I do what I want, including teleporting, even though the gate is right over there. But I don't really care! The gate is right over there, I don't really care. I have a pair of knives. I don't know. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, cool sword. Uh, I'm sorry, I was just looking. Uh, Aethernet. Uh, Fisherman's Guild. Zoom. Insane man. I love it. I love that name. I can't believe that wasn't taken. Insane man. Hello. I need to go in. Thank you. Hello, Jack. You managed to grab all that firing mechanism yet, Charlie? Cutscene. Ah, still in one piece, too. You done well for your first assignment, lass. It don't look like much, but that crew put their lives on the line to clothe this here bobble. They'll be pleased to see it snatched back from the Ruffmans. We've got yet to do for the dainty demolishers, Jack. The job ain't over. You're right, Underfoot, it ain't. You break the code, you face the consequences. Oh-ho! This is not all what I expected from the inside of a covenant. Covent? And who might you be, sirs? Ahaha! Ah, your ignorance is understandable! After all, our schemes are always perfect! Our heists impeccable! Shall I reveal our infamous name and drink in your delicious terror? We are the da deadly, dastardly, dictionally devilish quail before the dainty demolishers! <laughs> Captain! Captain, I say! There's the louse who misappropriated our merchandise! I concur! She's the self-same simpleton who we trailed unnoticed to this very establishment. Surprise, surprise! Now, now, my dear dandies, let us not be unpleasant. We shall endeavor to resolve this distastefulness without resulting to insults or other less diplomatic methods. At least not yet. You there, yes. The clan, the clean-cheeked errand boy. Be a good fellow and fetch me your superior. One of your call oh I was he's supposed to have a deep voice. One of your colleagues has committed a cr terrible crime against us, and we shall not be leaving until the proper restitution has been paid. Oh ho, an errand boy now am I? Tell me, Captain, just what kind of place do you think that do you think this is then? Hmm? This place? Well, I suppose it is some matter of Covent. The one-eyed doorman named it the Dutiful Sisters of the Idlewise or some such. And 
you yet to realize your mistake. Your fate was sealed the moment you dragged your sorry quarren across a threshold. Are you threatening me, boy? I'll have my fellows cut out that impudent tongue. We've exhausted our reserves of dainty today, lads. Show these fraudulent sisters how the demolishers, demolishers deal with upstarts. Oh, we gonna fight. You still don't understand, do you? There are but three sorts of gulls that'll let the door that the doorman will let pass. Clients, recruits. God spit. I'll kill you all. <laughs> Didn't your mom teach you not to interrupt a lady when she's talking? You'd have learned th that the third sort of cull is a bollocks or brains mark that marches himself right into the rogue's den. R rogues? But, but we were so careful! I heard tales in my pirate days, stories about the merciless wraths who uphold the code. They weren't called rogues back then, though. The upright thieves they were. The knives in the shadows. You, you can't be them. You're just trying to scare me. Well, the captain of the Datia Demolishers is not so easily cowed. To hells with your deceptions! Huzzah! Huzzah for my fallen comrades! Okay, this is cool. Deceptions? Aye, anyone could- could- you meet could be a rogue, Captain. Even a clean-cheeked errand boy. He's still breathing. Find some rope and br string him up someplace in town. And now the job's done. Quite an introduction you had there, eh? Welcome to Linsa Lamincia's ever churdened underbelly, where the thieves shed their skins and become ro and became rogues. Hi, Jack. I'm not much fun for discussing the old days, but since it's come up, I might as well clear up the confusion. It was back when piracy was at its peak. The coves pr what protect the code were dimmer chambers. The best lads and lasses to be had from among the pirate crews. They bit back the goods that was wrongly bitten and came for the guilty under the cover of darkmen's. Upright thief became the title for these coves, what dealt in sanctioned stealing and milling. But it was only those that had cut all ties with the buccaneer's life what was accepted into the ranks. Conflicted loyalties and all that. They formed their own guild and even their own way of speaking, and that was what what, what was once pirates was pirates no more. Later on, when Merlburb took up the Admiral's chair, the upright thieves agreed to abide by her laws. We became the Rogues Guild to mark the change and altered our recruiting policy to accept venturers like yourself. But, although the title is different, the job remains the same. Uphold the code and preserve the underground society what spawned us. Just if you've done with this assignment, keep up the good work, Charlie, and you'll go far in the shadows. That was pretty damn cool. That was really cool, actually, for like just a level 5 quest. Alright, let's, uh, become... Woohoo. My fan- I'm ugly again. Uh... Alright, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, thanks you- thank you again for watching, and I will see you again next time. I have one more video to record, and then I'm done for the day. Bye.